What is up there everyone, it's the guy with the Gamer Tag here, and today I wanted to talk about Project Cars and preferences with racing games because I'm absolutely loving this game at the moment. It's a game that I got a few months ago and it is so much fun to play. It's way different to any other motorsport game I've ever played because the physics in the game represent the characteristics that each car would have and the different traits it's going to have depending on whether it's a road car or a race car and it's just a general fun experience because of the way that you've got to learn every car, you've got to learn the way it handles, what happens when you press the brake, how much you need to press the brake to get the front going into the corner so you can hit the apex and I'm just absolutely loving that aspect of this game. It really requires you to want to just improve the lap time by the tiniest fractions when you get good on a certain vehicle. Although I will say I've had not much fun in the go-karts. The go-karts don't quite feel like go-karts. When I've actually like driven a go-kart at my local go-kart track, it feels nothing like it does in the game because the go-karts handle almost like cars in that when you start getting up to speed they come, become really light. And in my personal experience, although I will admit it's only been at indoor tracks, they've never felt light when you get up to speed. They still feel very responsive, they just feel slightly slower to respond of course when you're going at speed because if you're going around a tight corner you need to slow down. But they never quite feel like the carts in Project Cars because they sort of feel light and then the steering goes really funny. There's also a momentum bug on the Dubai cart drone which gets really annoying where when you go into the rumble strips and then you come back onto the track the cart kind of jumps and it's really irritating. But when you get into the cars it is so much fun. I've been driving the Caterham 7 a lot and that car is so much fun. I absolutely love driving it. It's one of the few games but when I'm just driving, it's a really pleasant experience, and it's something I've never had in game. And usually it's a tense experience, it's an awesome experience, but sometimes this game is just pleasant to be in. It's kind of fun driving these cars around these awesome tracks, and I do really enjoy it. I'll admit, the graphics do look really nice. Some parts of the game don't look as nice as the others. When you look around yourself in the pit lane, you actually realise that a lot of the actual track surface detail and the actual like around the track detail isn't actually particularly great. Some people might compare it to a polished turd. It's nothing spectacular, but it does still look kind of nice. And it's nowhere near as detailed as the actual detail you see on the cars. But I've just found that when I'm driving, I'm really not paying attention to that. I'm taking in the scenery and the car as a whole thing. And it is just spectacular. Sometimes it is just an amazing experience to be driving. And even if you're driving slowly, it's just like, wow, this looks and feels awesome. And I absolutely love it for that. And what's more, the AI is really responsive. It may not be the most exciting AI because they don't necessarily make some daredevil moves up the inside on you. But they, are, they do respond to the way you drive and they will start overtaking each other. Because that's the thing, there's been simulator games before like Gran Turismo, which I would have said up until recently has been kind of the market standard for simulator racing games. But the problem with that game was always the AI felt like they were on train tracks. They just went round the racing line and only on the racing line. They would very rarely overtake each other and try and overtake you. They were almost not competitive. They were only going to win if they had the faster car. And sometimes even if they did have the faster car, they wouldn't win because they would deliberately drive slower. And that always just got really annoying. Whereas in Project Cars, when you stick the difficulty right up to the maximum, it is a lot of fun and it is a real challenge. I find myself not winning every race. I have to kind of fight and I have to try and be smart about how I try and overtake. Mostly because you have to adjust to the physics in this game because it doesn't feel like any other racing game. The car goes light when you're at speed and all the different cars, depending on their weight, because of course a road car is going to be much heavier than a race car, and you can kind of feel that in game. I'll admit, using controllers, sometimes you don't get the response you might want from a simulator game. Using a steering wheel is probably a lot more effective and doing well in this game, but you can still get a good feel for the cars when you're using a controller, and I do like that. It is really fun. And the fact that the AI also responds to you is just something I really enjoy. Because it is so much fun when you've got AI that are moving around you. It makes you feel like you're at least driving against some decent opponents and not just driving against these Skeletrix cars which just let you past. You actually kind of have to think about what you're doing and the way the weather changes I just absolutely am loving this game. Even though I'm only playing single player and I barely scratched the surface of it, I started in the carts, I'm starting a few road races and that kind of thing, I have barely scratched the surface of what you can do in this game. A lot of people will have done much more in-depth reviews, so if you want to actually think about getting this game, I would advise you go around and see other reviews, because I have not really touched all the content in the game. Some people might say it's limited, I personally feel that it's got enough to keep me entertained. I'm really enjoying the game and the way it brings together a combination of simulator driving and race driving together and it is just a lot of fun. I do hope you've enjoyed this video. This has been the guy with my gamertag and I'll see you on another video.